Welcome back everybody, I'm the Blonde Fox, and today we're going to continue playing some more Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. In the last episode, we left off where basically we thought things were good, we got most of the citizens and the two princesses out of the out of Cornelia safely to the front gate, but then the chaos stuff basically erupted and more big, bad, horrible things showed up and started killing everybody, and basically both princesses died and all hope was lost. And so the other four, the other four warriors of light besides Jack all decided to basically start attacking Jack, not out of hate, malice, or anything, but they needed to make him basically accept the chaos and become the chaos and absorb all of it and everything. And so Jack ended up killing all of his friends and everything. And now we go back to where the extraction point is, according to Astos, which is Chaos Shrine, back where it all began. This is really sad, and I'm still broken up over it. I'm like, this just, like, this hit hard because we traveled with all those people... It's one thing the townspeople says, like, I had no feelings for them because the whole game, they were very much just, like, irksome. And the princesses, I felt for Sarah out of all of them, and that's about, you know, probably about a 50% emotion type thing. But our teammates, they've been with us this whole time, you know? Ash, Jed, since the beginning, Neon, whenever we rescued her, Sophia, whenever we, she, we rescued her, too. It's like, it just seems like they've been with us for so long. It just really hits hard. So I'm going to drop a quick save before continuing, but I didn't mess with my battle settings or anything. I mean, I probably should check just to make sure. But I have a feeling that this is probably going to be a very easy area because I have all that chaos in me. We're probably going to be like, you know, totally OP kind of thing. And we'll put that one. Yeah, I don't think that's going to help. Ooh, this white robe looks awesome though. You know what? We're going to lose some stuff off of it, but I want... All that affinity. We reached the 250% affinity bonus, which does what for us exactly? Maybe like that. So what does that get us? The 250... Okay, so we haven't quite got the... Okay, so that gave us the elemental force ability, which is... Nullifies all magic damage while guarding. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so nice. And then last but not least is Ancient Knowledge, which will potions also restore MP, but we haven't got that yet. Awesome. Okay. So to Chaos's Shrine we go, where it all began. Poor Jack, too. He had a total meltdown. He's just, he feels so alone. I mean, literally, though, I think everyone in the world is dead now, because Captain Bike and them died before we went and fought Astos. Then every, like, half the town died whenever we got back, and then now everyone's dead, including the princesses, so wow. Whoa, okay, yeah, this is, like I thought, we are full of chaos. I'm just gonna touch this real quick. Thank you. So, what's up with us? The Lufinians speak of this glorious future of theirs with reverence, but is it, it is a future for who exactly? It is painfully obvious that any and all life in Cornelia has no place in their humming utopia, and in that sense, their seemingly cruel actions are completely rational, at least from the perspective of maintaining balance. And that is precisely why I must ensure that your desperate plan succeeds, Jack. All the gears have been set in motion, all the pieces set in place travel to the heart of the Chaos Shrine to bring it all to an end. Oh, man. We finally partitioned ourselves off from that vile, obsolete world. We cannot allow them to reestablish the connection from their end. That is why we need to keep monitoring the balance of light and darkness. If it looks like it will crumble, then we inject darkness to reverse the course, or reset the world if it need be. Of course. If I could reset the world... No. Okay, so I have no enough. break gauge. I don't feel more overpowered though, so I'm not necessarily overpowered, I just don't have a break gauge. Right? Yeah, I have no break gauge, that's kinda cool. Uh, let's go ahead and get regen going, because I did let myself take damage there, because I thought I was invincible. Am I underleveled still here? Nope, sweet, I am not underleveled either, so there should be no buff on the enemy. When the harmonious balance that defines her collapses, in short, when the darkness of her crystal or her innate light undergo a sudden violent shift, a singularity that will warp the very fabric of this world will manifest. 
while the darkness in Cornelia will gather to her. And when it joins to her light, there will be no mutual annihilation, but a convergence leading to the birth of chaos. It is, it, it is this very end that my dear friend must seek, painful though it may have be for him to endure, for he needs her to fulfill this forgotten aim, and seeing her safe is the key to everything. So I need to succumb to straight darkness, and her light is supposed to combine with that, I guess, is what it said? Really, this dude is gonna go all out. Come here, you. That was so satisfying after that last episode. <laughs> Supposed to go that way or take the ladder? I guess I'll take the ladder because I just need to make our way to the shrine, right? Which is this way. Because yeah, the shrine is over this direction. Oh, okay, that scared me. <laughs> this world is Lavinia's playground, a laboratory for them to conduct their experiments in light and dark every living thing their lab animal. Jack was understandably filled with unspeakable fury when he learned this truth. He is a pure sort, and it is this very innocence that pushes him to rebel against his masters now. No matter how futile the struggle may be, perhaps this aspect of his personality, too, was implanted in him by the Lufinians. But I choose to believe otherwise. Heart is what defines my Jack, and I will put my faith in that. It was Jack who authored our ploy, and even if he forgets it, even if he forgets me, I will gladly risk life and limb to set him on the right path. We will sever our world from its unsafe, unjust fate. I don't know why I said unsafe. And set it spiraling into a chaotic void where it can finally be master of its own destiny. This is the least I can do to thank him and the others for accepting me as one of their own. Okay, so basically the Lufinians, they keep resetting this world because it's tied to theirs technically. And they don't want basically the people of this world to learn or have access to what the uh, Lufinians have access to. Great, now I gotta kill you. And so to that end, they basically keep resetting it over and over again, destroying them, etc, etc. And so our job is to basically sever the tie so they have no more control so that basically this place can start progressing again, is my guess. Maybe that's it. I don't use magic when I attack, do I? I do. I don't think I do. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Chain reaction. Yeah, I don't think I use magic when I attack. So I might as well just fully buff me up then, right? Yeah, I don't use magic now. So might as well have some fun with it. Okay, is there something over this way? I love, too, how the music here is so solemn, because it's like, you're not really afraid of the stuff here, you're just kind of in a blind emptiness. The music really accentuates that, I really like it. Oop, he ate it. And so did he. Oh, ho, ho, that was so satisfying. After that last battle we had, this is just so satisfying. This is the one. Get our buffs going again. I know this is probably pointless because we're really not taking much damage here, but I would just rather have all this than not have it, you know? Yeah. And we're almost there anyways. Within the heart of the singularity, he will be reborn, but to be merely reborn is not enough. He must accept the chaotic darkness of the singularity into his very soul, following a similar principle to how the fiends manifest. It is emotion and despair emerging that converts the gloom born from the singularity into true darkness. From this it should be evident that darkness will follow him wherever he goes, drawn ever to the gravitational well of his momentous despair. It is the darkness injected into this world and the darkness born and bred here that will guide him to the inevitable conclusion of our ploy. 
scroll down some. All that is left is for him to use the warp device I prepared to send himself and all his accompanying shadows to that pocket dimension of theirs. Our plan will end in failure if we cannot seize the power to reset the world from them. Isn't that right, Jack? So this has been a plan set in motion by him, the princess, Astos, all of them for... I don't know how many resets. Well, that failed. He's got too much of an angle. Again, that is very satisfying after that last episode. I just check this real quick. Not like we really need anything anyways. Um, let's go with this. There we go. Ah, oh, Flan. Aha, so satisfying. What the heck is that? Is that a bat? I totally missed that. Don't have a break gauge, Batty. That does nothing to me now. Lufenians don't deserve a future. I'll use their power against them. And the power they fear the most. I'll tear it all down. Everything they all fear. And then I end this ridiculous device. Aww. Yeah, probably shouldn't chance that. There we go. Ooh, it looks like I'm getting- it seems like he's getting more and more filled with chaos as it goes on. It's probably as we get closer to the shrine is my guess. Like, the, the, the main part of the shrine. I let go of that. Oh, so satisfying. Well, this room just got dark. Anything else up here? We haven't ran across a chest in a while either, now that I think about it. Okay, this is it. The throne room. Warning. Chaos infection. Warning. Chaos infection. Extraction denied. Extraction denied. Initiate immediate memory erasure and pacification. Screw you. Screw you all! Warning. Chaos infection. Warning. Chaos infection. Decompression in Station 19. Positive ID. Senior Agent Jack Garland. He's completely corrupted. But this wasn't in Astos's report. He's a traitor. That's why. Contagion confirmed. Report! Unknown. Suspected metaphysical anomaly. Corruption spreading. If this continues, he'll reestablish our link to the old world. Then we have no choice. Reset it. I see no other option. Activating dimensional crystal matrix. Preparing to initiate World Reboot. Agent Jack Garland, can you hear me? Clear as day. The station you're in is infected. 
We're going to reinitialize it along with the old world. We've got no other choice. <laughs> Who do you think you are? He's unintelligible. Likely due to chaos corruption. Jack, acknowledge. Who the fuck do you think you are? Dimensional crystal matrix ready. Standing by. Do it. Activating. Arrogant bastards. Wanna play God? I won't let you. I'll rip that power from your hands and make it my own. Yeah, you tell him, Jack. Oh yeah, okay, what are we- are we just gonna cause a mess? Oh yeah. Haha, <laughs> we get to cause a mess. <laughs> this is fun. to devour a feast fit for chaos and now I'll swallow you whole and even those damn fiends will kneel to me as their lord is mine I claim your darkness as my own This took a turn I was not expecting. I didn't realize chaos would actually manifest. I thought we were chaos. Whoa, okay, that hurts. And I've got a break bar now. Oh my gosh. Uh, what? Hello? Are you kidding me? What am I supposed to do here, dude? I didn't even last three seconds. Though this creature of darkness will primarily seek to engage in close combat, it is just as competent at destroying its enemies with fire, water, wind, and earth elemental attacks before they even get close. Find a way through the barrage of attacks to close the distance and engage in a melee. Be extra wary when you see it ready to cast Inferno, Earthquake, Tsunami, or Whirlwind as these spells can topple even the strongest warrior. Duh, he started with Tsunami! How, what was I supposed to do? And where did all my chaos powers go? Great. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. We'll max out that job. And I don't have anything to show for it either, do I? Okay. What level is this? It's only 118. Why should the work? Okay. Okay. How am I supposed to do this? Seriously, it's like he can almost.
Okay. I hit the circle button, but okay, I guess that doesn't count for anything in his eyes, right? Get my shields up. Just hope we didn't absorb one of those. Can I absorb that? There we go. Get away from me. Stay on your side, I'll stay on my side. I can handle long range. Do something else. Yeah, that. I can do something with that. Come on, I almost have enough for another magic attack. Seriously? What am I stuck on, dude? Seriously, that wasn't fair. Come on. I like got stuck on the edge of nothing. It seems like the arena is shrinking or something. not happy. Come on, do malicious waters. Ooh, okay, Jack is starting to get more evil sounding. I dodged. Okay, all y'all saw that. I dodged. Jack is going cray cray. He has had enough of their BS. Okay, don't get too close, so. Okay, there. Power chaos. Jack, let's talk this out. What do you want? It's not enough. It's still not enough. Okay, please tell me phase two isn't harder. Whoa, okay, sweet. Whoa, 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 whoa. I am not doing this fight again.
No, 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 no. No, you don't. Screw you, Chaos. Screw you, Chaos. Got what you deserve, Chaos. Ooh, right in the shin. Yes, for all your friends. Take him out. Ho oh, ho ho, yes, that was satisfying. Station 19. Control is to be transferred to the next station. Agent Garland, you are hereby discharged. Goodbye, Jack. Lufenia thanks you for your service. You give Central a message of resignation for me. You'll never cast off your shackles to the old world. Not as long as you continue to flush your darkness into Cornelia. So I'll bide my time. Gather my strength. And use that link to return someday. Mark my words. I'll be back to wipe all of you from existence. I'll burn your precious Lufenia to the ground. That is absurd. You saw the power I now wield. Chaos. Unpredictable. Uncontrollable. While our technology advances by the day. While you're down there, Jack. Do remember to keep an eye out for the Warriors of Light. Balance is everything. Champions will arise one day to bring you low. What the hell do you know about Cornelia? Here's a tip. There's no such thing as the Warriors of Light. They're just empty hopes. False dreams. Childish fantasy. more about what makes a warrior of light than us. I get it now. <laughs> hey boss, don't bother sending any more strangers. <laughs> what are you talking about? What's so funny? <laughs> Answer up! Not a chance! Okay. I wonder what Jack found so funny. I don't think I've caught on yet with what's going on. The reset was successful. This was all part of our plan, wasn't it, Ash? Okay, so he reset right, it. Jed. It was never a mercy to forget. You were right. And I should have listened. I guess I'm just gonna let Jack talk. Sorry to get you mixed up in all of this. Thanks for sticking with us till the end. Sophia, this is our world now. I won't let those bastards use it as their plaything. Those of you who love Cornelia, never give up hope. 
the warriors of light will come one day. Is he going to take up the mantle of chaos now? I'm not sure exactly what's going on, so I'm still a little confused. Welcome home. Hmm. Don't you think it's a little dark in here? We're storing it all here for now. It's still about 2,000 years before the reign of our friend, the king. <laughs> we wove the threads of darkness to pull you back through time. Mufenia's tentacles can't reach us here. <laughs> You're in a good mood. I've got a fun plan. Do tell. We'll train the Warriors of Light ourselves. Interesting. How? The Warriors of Light will be born in Cornelia. Just like you were, Neon. Of course. They're Cornelius Hope, after all. Makes sense they'd be from there. Hope. Despair. Rufenia won't dictate these terms to anyone anymore. I've been wondering... When did you all start scheming to turn me into chaos? He's good. Better than good. Only Jack can fight like that. Glad to see he's back. <laughs> Took long enough. What? Our memories are fragmented and complete, but then we started putting all the pieces together. It was touch and go there for a while. We'd have never figured it out without those hints Astos gave us. Well, there were some unplanned sacrifices. And yet we pulled it off. Kudos to the brilliant mastermind behind it all. Mastermind? Astos. I want you to be my accomplice. With your help, we may be able to change things next time. Be safe, Jack. May the crystal's blessing be with you, always. Sarah, I... I'd like you to have this. This is very special to you. You've never even let me touch it before. A friend gave me some advice once. He said, you've got to be crazy if you want to change the world. And is that what this is? Crazy? Perhaps, but it's only the beginning. And what happens next? Hmm, let's see. How about I spirit you away to my dark castle? <laughs> Father will send his armies. Oh, I won't stand a chance. But the Lord of Chaos might. Maybe I should change jobs. <laughs> then the warriors of light will come. <laughs> They're welcome too. Cloaked in gloom and veiled by shadow, we await that fateful day when the warriors of light arise. Although their glow may be faint at first, even a sputtering candle 
is brilliant against the black of night. And so... We will plunge this world into the depths of darkness. Okay, that was cool. Okay, so we got the Lion's Heart Sword, and was that it? His name is Garland. Yeah, yeah, we didn't just do anything. We had to spend. Chaos difficulty has been unlocked. Awesome. Cyclic Warrior has been unlocked. What's that? Build the power of Chaos. The Cyclic Warrior can hold R2 to access the Soul of Chaos ability. Though it will reduce your maximum MP, you can channel it into one of four terrifying attacks based on the direction you input. Inferno, Earthquake, Tsunami, or Whirlwind. The choice is yours. Oh, so it's it's literally chaos. Okay, that's cool looking. Let me see the little video that plays. So yeah, you get to choose which direction and then... Okay, so basically the guy we just fought the taxi does. Cool, cool. So is that in here now? It's probably under ex experts jobs, right? Yeah. Um, affinity... Timberly increase MP limit based on damage dealt after using a job action. Wait, what? Okay. Temporarily increase MP limit based on damage dealt after using a job action. Not sure exactly what that means. I'm having a hard time understanding for some reason right now. I'm still wept, like, kept, swept away by that ending. Um, Chaosbringer. Consume all your MP to gain the following effects. Increased break damage dealt. Attacks reduce enemy max break gauge to zero. Enemies brought to zero HP will finish with soul burst. All abilities do not require... Okay, so it's basically like that little mode we were in at the end of the game. Oh, that's fun. 
That would be fun to activate. Makes me wonder what the affinity bonuses are for something like this, too. Is there anything else in here? Uh, let's see. Does it have, like, a max look? Okay. I was hoping that maybe we would get, like, to increase the level or something, but oh well, it doesn't look like we did. Breaker did good for us. The Cyclic Warrior should be fun, too. Oh, yeah, I wanted to see what the bonuses are for it. Uh, da 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 da, da. Here we go. Okay, affinity bonuses for this. Strength, strength, stranger bonus. Increases damage dealt to the enemy's max break gauge by abilities. Oh, that could be fun. Fearless Soul gradually increases its MP limit when MP limit is below 200. Okay, so whenever our MP limit is below 200... Oh, oh, again, I'm trying to think. Does it mean MP limit is like like how it says 200 out of 200? Or is MP limit like, oh, I have 0 out of 200 right now? Does it mean it's like going to gradually refill? Or does it mean that basically the limit itself, basically, I can never have less than 200? Which I thought you couldn't, but I don't know. Using a soul burst while Lightbringer is active will increase Lightbringer's damage. I never used Lightbringer like the entire playthrough, so that doesn't matter much. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna drop a quick save, but I guess that was it. What's this? Ebon Memories, the Warrior. Martial Coat, Martial... I don't know how to say that. Anima Crystal, Anima Shard. What's this for? Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that almost sounds like a... Whatchamacallit, like a Battle Royale type thing. It's not story stuff. I think we're gonna... Oh, did I get one for here? Yeah, here's a new side quest here. So that's just for Anima Shards and Anima Crystals. I think that was the end of the game. Oh, we never did this one to get Void Knight's Crest, so... Uh, I wonder who gets to use the Void Knight. Or wait, it's three Void Knight's Crest? What, what's that? I'm confused. Smith Hammer 3. I'm a little confused. Okay, so we have some stuff to do, but that was technically the end of the story mode. So if you guys want me to finish off like the side quests and whatnot, let me know, but I don't have to technically. Right, because that's all the side. Yeah, we have the Indigo. Oh, wait, the Indigo Memories, the Stab. Yeah, that's that one, which gets us the Smith thing and the Crests. Oh, it's so each character can be a Void Knight, I think is what it is, because it said three of them. And then we have these two, which this one almost sounds like a boss rush thing. And then, what was this one again? Yeah, that was just for Anima Shards and whatnot. So, yeah, if you want me to do those last little side quests, let me know down in the comments. But otherwise, this is pretty much where we're going to leave it. Or if you'd like to see me go through, like, the story mode again or something like that on a harder difficulty or whatnot. Or, I don't know. I'm wondering if... Because I could have swore I read online that you're supposed to be able to increase the level limit, but I think it's... That's probably what one of these side quests does. But, so if you want to see me go through any of these other side quests or anything, I know I keep saying that, but basically let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and call this Let's Play here, because we technically, we finished the main story. So, yeah, I might be doing the DLC. I don't know. That hasn't come out yet, so whenever it does, we'll revisit this and kind of do a little separate Let's Plays for each of the DLCs, possibly, because there's supposed to be three of them. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I really enjoyed this game. It was really good. The ending, I like how it looped back around to basically show that the first cutscene we saw in the beginning, that was actually the ending beginning, I guess, in a sense. I like the cyclic, the cy cyclic, cyclic, however you say it, nature of this. I'm still a little confused, and it's probably because I didn't read a lot of the lore stuff as we went through it. So if any of you can like simplify the lore for me down in the comments, I would absolutely love that. Otherwise, I'm probably just going to look it up on a wiki. But... Yeah, I, I really enjoy the game. I do recommend it. It is a little, I got a little, you know, frustrated there at some points, but it is a really good game. It's just you have to like that type of game play, as you've seen. It, it's kind of particular, but it was pretty good. And I can see where some people said it's a bit repetitive after you beat the game, because I think you pretty much just go through and keep leveling stuff up kind of thing. You know, just try to see how high you can get your gear and everything. It's kind of like a grind type thing, but I don't know. But yeah, it was a really good game. I do recommend it. I would recommend it, though, on sale if you're not, like, a huge Final Fantasy fan or a huge, like, the Souls-style combat fan. 
And yeah, I'm trying to think what else to say about it. But again, just thank you all so much for watching. This has been a fun ride through this game. A lot of emotion there in the end. These last couple episodes have really hit me hard. That was like, it's not expecting that. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to like it. Comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I look forward to hearing from you guys. And remember to subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future. Until next time, see ya!